Christian. A health alert out of Richmond tonight where the health department is trying to locate a pet monkey that bit a teenage girl during the 4th of July celebration at Dogwood Dell. Kurt Autry joins us now with the latest on the simian search. We're talking about a, a small pet monkey, Sabrina, that was seen late Friday at Dogwood Dell on the shoulder of an unidentified woman. During a live report in our Friday afternoon newscast, when our camera panned the crowd, we captured a brief image of a woman with a monkey on her shoulder. Now, we slowed down the tape and highlighted that image. It's likely that this is the woman and monkey health officials are looking for. It's important the health department learns more about this monkey in order to properly treat the teen who was bitten. We here are kind of concerned about that and we, you know, we want to be able to find out about the monkey, about the general well-being of that monkey and specifically about what kind of monkey that bit the girl. Again, we cannot confirm that this is the video of the woman and the monkey the health department is looking for, but honestly, how many women with monkeys could there have been at Dogwood Dell Friday? I'm guessing not many. We provided a copy of that video to the state health department. If you recognize the woman, or the monkey for that matter, please give them a call at number 804-382-4363. I'm Kurt Autry, NBC12. A hit micro teenager is safe at home tonight after he went missing for more than 12 hours during a kayaking trip. It happened at Albemarle Sound in North Carolina, just west of Nags Head. New at 11, Tar Borgen spoke with a survivor about the ordeal. Curtis Cooper's parents.